being the business community together, well, I want to tell you, we also do have some of our elected officials that do stand beside us in our community. And I want to bring up to speak to you all is Delegate Smeagol from Upper Shore, representing District 36. What I have here is the Maryland Constitution. The Maryland Constitution allows the governor to call a special session when there are extraordinary circumstances. Yes, yes. This here is the bill, 54 pages. Whoa, mm. yeah. You know what's not in there? Come One on. single word mm. about an extraordinary circumstance. That's right. There's nothing, yes, there's Shame. nothing that they want to do in this special second unnecessary special session That's right. that they can't do in during the regular session. That's right. Wow. That's right. That's I can right. tell you, I'm used to standing on the opposite end of the Prince George's County representatives, and they do a very good job, and they fight very hard. Yeah. And they should be allowed to come in during the regular session and fully bet this. It shouldn't be done behind closed doors. We should not pass off our responsibilities as elected officials to some commission that will do what we don't have the intestinal fortitude to do That's in those right. halls where you can watch us. That's That's right. Right. That's right. What this bill does That's do right. is it gives tax breaks to those who have agreed that the uh, one of them doesn't get a tax break. The one in Cecil County doesn't get a tax break. You know why? <laughs> because they called the process sleazy. Oh, 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 so after they called the process oh, sleazy, they were left out of the bill's tax breaks. But everybody else gets a tax break. That's right. No. And it's coming at your expense. Yeah. There are things in here dealing with the minority set-asides that should be vetted in an open process where you can come down and you can participate. Exactly. That's the problem with this special session. It's process, process, process. And until we follow the process that's laid out, there is nothing extraordinary about this, except that they want to do it quickly, they want to get it over with. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We, made, we made a mistake putting a vice amendment in our Constitution. Why do we need a vice amendment in our Constitution? We don't need a Constitution that deals with how you gamble. It takes us two years now to catch up when Delaware does something new. And so we should not have that in our Constitution, and we should come down here in a regular session and deal with this. Right. This That's process right. can be set aside, there'll be no harm done, and you'll be able to have input in where it goes, if it goes, yeah. and you'll be able to have input in where the money goes and who participates in the building of it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because right now, as I read it, where they're saying so much has to be set aside for union work, there aren't enough union people to do those jobs, so they'll go out of state to bring in those yeah. 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 So we need to make sure that if it's going to be built, it's built with Maryland workers and that the money goes to help Maryland citizens. Yeah. And your yeah. legislator, Prince George County, will do a fine job if they're given the opportunity to come back in a regular session and to deal with that. Right. So yeah. with that, we say this is an unnecessary session and follow the Constitution and only call these when it's truly an extraordinary need. Thank you. Woo!